Hello, hello, and welcome to, uh, Coffee Craft, sort of. <laughs> I am on my little redstone testing world. I got a couple of a couple of things here and there. Uh, I started this one somewhere towards the end of season one. Uh, I can get into more about it later. What I want to do is I have two main objectives. So let's um, let's move our message board off to the side because I do want some notes, but I'll leave them in a different location. So two objectives for today. We've got. to assemble our board. Yeah, I should have done this before uh, going live too. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so. Project 1. Stone furnace automated burn eye. <laughs> All right, that, that that is the multiple of furnaces, right? Fern eye, sure, it is now. I've got a couple of things that I want to do. I I want to set up. A, a furnace system. I need to figure out how much space it's going to take and what materials I need. Uh, the former, so that way I can let Reyes know and find out where I can slot it in. And the latter, so that way I can see if we actually have everything I need to make it anyway. Um, so, this, the, this automated furnace array needs a few things. Uh, I need 16 regular burn eye in one array. I need eight blast burn eye and eight smokers. So this whole setup is going to have three independent paths that you can feed stuff into. One, the main one, is going to be 16 furnaces uh, set up together. So I want three inputs, one for the 16 blast furni or 16 regular furni. That's going to be for all our bulk needs. Uh, eight blast furnace, so if we need to smelt up copper, iron, gold, or anything that would normally fit into a blast furnace. Uh, we, we don't usually need that or just that. So I want to have eight of them ready to go just in case and ditto for the smokers. So that way we can do food or kelp or, you know, well, I guess kelp is technically food too. Uh, anything along those lines. I don't expect the blast furnace or the smokers to get much use, but I want them there so that way we got the option. Uh, 16 regular should be enough for most of our bulk cooking needs. Uh, I mean, we, we've done the... We've done... I'm trying to remember. Season 0, we had an 8 furnace array? Yeah, yeah. I We had two 8 furnace arrays that were set up independently of each other. So I want this to be 16 all together. Uh, I need infinite fuel. Ah. All right. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> infinite fuel. Auto on and off. So I want some sort of fuel source. I, I'm deeply, deeply considering... Uh, the, the carpet duplicator like I used in season two in the Skyblock season. 
because I had a little four furnace array going for that. And that worked out pretty good, except for that whole auto on and off thing. Uh, that part I never quite got working the way I wanted it to. So we'll need to we'll need to work on that next. Um, but I want to make sure that it's one of those things that all you need to do, all you know, it, when Rast, Arcadius, or Medic, or I go over to the array, we just go to the input box, toss our stuff in, and sit AFK while we wait for it to bake, uh, or or go about whatever else is available in the area, depending on where it ends up. Or, who knows, maybe we'll make two of these. One in the mountain and one over at the village. Um, regardless, I want you to be able to just toss your stuff in the input, go AFK, or, or go do other things in the area, whichever, doesn't matter. And the fuel source will turn itself on and off as, as needed. Um, there was something else I needed to add. Something else I was supposed to remember to put on this list, and I didn't write it down because, of course, I would remember. Isn't that the way it always works? I'm not going to worry about XP levers. If I can fit them on there, I will. But if not, I ain't worried about it. Uh, all right, let, let's just, and then profit, right? <laughs> all right, let's toss these into the void real quick. Uh, let's put those off to the side. I don't need the structure block anymore. That's for one of the other projects I was working on. Um, actually, no, I, I guess I had this in, uh, in season one, because that, that's me testing out the iron farm, getting that ready for season one. That was my season one lighthouse. Um, that was me trying to work on a system to keep spiders from uh, crawling back out of the drop shaft. That was the lighting from season one. My villager and wandering trader testing and recording areas. All right, so what do I need? I'm going to need fern... All right, I'm going to need a furnace. I'm going to need a blast furnace. I'm going to need a smoker. I'm going to need hoppers. I'm going to need ice. Hey, keyboard banana. How you doing? I'm trying out this planning thing. I hear it's supposed to help. Oh. Uh, oh, I'm going to need a sticky piston. I'm going to need slime blocks. I'm doing okay for the most part. It's uh it's been a rough week, but you know, it's always what always makes things better, playing some Minecraft. So this is so. The, in case you missed it, the the main idea is I'm trying to get ready for an automated furnace project. I'm going to try to plan this one out instead of just winging it. Um, I want to use the carpet duplicator that I used in season two for fuel, but this time I want to figure out how to make the auto on auto off work, and uh, I want to have. Three Three cooking systems set up. One, uh, an array of 16 regular furnaces, an another an array of six blast furnaces, and another an array of six uh, smokers. Um, and I'm probably going to need a minecart. I'm probably going to need some powered rail, some regular rail. I may need the detector rail. Uh, I feel like I, I I know I am forgetting something. Oh, of course, what every red sonar needs. Wool. Let's uh let's go ahead and get some orange wool. 
and some gray wool. All right. So let's do the simple part first. <laughs> I say the simple part. It might not be. Uh, let's get the output going. Let's uh, let's set up a double chest with our two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm probably going to regret building that close to the uh, <laughs> edge of the platform there, but okay. All right, so there's my eight smokers. I'm going to need... So that that's going to pull everything across. And I, I do need to be careful because if I remember right, you can actually set this up so that uh, the cookers are producing more... Oh, the world is doing pretty good. Um, a couple of months ago, had we started season three yet? Because we are now we we finished up our Skyblock season. Uh, what four four or five weeks ago, and now we're we're getting back to a vanilla Minecraft world now that one point eighteen point one is out and relatively stable. Uh, we are having a little bit of trouble with <laughs> with a few things on uh, on the hosting side, but that seems to be more so a problem with um, vanilla vanilla Minecraft being we'll call it special special works, right? Iron bars. Cause I gotta figure out. Oh, New was it New Year's Day? Yeah, it was New Year's Day. Um, I I hate to say this, but New Year's Day feels like a very long time ago. <laughs> like I I know we're only only just now at the end of January, or close enough to the end of January, but I I swear it feels. It feels like it's a lot longer than that. <laughs> I don't know what that says. I'm not sure I want to know what that says, but <laughs> uh, it, yeah, don't, don't, don't answer that. I hear you typing over there. Don't, don't. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, contemplating, contemplating the that it's already the twenty eighth of January. Uh, that's that's not that's not fine. All right, I'm kind of building up. Something that that's a fair mix of. Uh, a couple different designs that I've worked with. Uh, actually, if I remember, I think I did want that to be two out from either side, because I seem to remember the last time I did this with rails... I ended up with um, the cart not distributing distributing things properly. And do I want two there or do I just need one? Let's try two. Um, I'm going to need to, <laughs> I don't need the whole thing, just the one. Uh, 
I can power one side because the the idea is I want the cart to go um, let's grab us a gate spruce because for some strange reason that is my favorite no I don't know why uh No, 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 I needed, what did I need? How did I do this? How do I even? <laughs> um. I, uh, okay. I think I had a gate there. That guy was there. And then... No. I didn't space that out right. Um. Ow. Stop that. Is that right? Because that's not powered. Um, let's check that real quick. I need need a lever. A lever. if I remember right, that will allow... Huh. Okay. I, I actually thought that would have... Uh... Let me complete the sentence? No. Of course not. Okay. So as long as the piston is extended, the cart will continue. And if I remember right, doing that is not what I wanted. Okay. Maybe I did have it right the first time. Uh, because I also seem to recall. Oh, that's right, because I was using that as the unloader last time. And this time, I want it to be the loader. All right, let's try this again. I need... Does that need to go there then? Happily go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That stops it. But doesn't start it back up again. What am I doing wrong? What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Hmm. 
I mean, I guess there's an easy way to figure this out. I can go... Um... Crikey, what just happened to my... Never mind. Alright, let's go back to... Single player. I'm looking for... Season 1. Loading. Please wait. Um. Okay, there we go. Like, the world could load now, please. Oh yeah, I gotta remember that when I do the, uh, the Sweetberry Farm next go. You need a, uh, you need a pig in there to keep them working through day and night. That's right. We tore that down before the end. Um. Bother. I can't reference what I did in season one. Because we tore it down to make room for that. Uh. Okay. Do I... Do I have something in Season Zero that I can use? I might. I mean, I am using part of the design from Season Zero anyway, so let me pull that up then. Maybe, the, maybe this is why people are recommending that planning thing. So... <laughs> Okay, yeah, the... Oh, since I mentioned it Tuesday, but didn't get a chance to reference it, this was the farm that I built in Season Zero that I was using for my reference design in the Skeleton Farm in Season 3. Obviously, as you can tell by here, we're working with a zombie spawner way down here. And what makes this one different from most other spawners, although... For some reason, that floor setup didn't work for me. Uh, there's two things. Let me go... Um, function... Uh, where's my night vision? Understand... Main... Multiplayer... Oh, did I not? Oh, oh, I don't think I did. Um... Give on Junior. Because hmm. I just realized that is, I mean, it's barely visible on my screen, and it's got to be worse uh, on on yours. Um. Okay. Let's go. Creative mode. Uh, where is my night vision? All right. Ah, there we go. Let's get some night vision on in this. Uh, so this is the the spawner design that I referenced for the skeleton farm that we're doing. What makes this one different is this little ditty with the trap doors up here. 
the idea is that if you put a slab or something like that on top of the spawner, you're significantly reducing the output because every time it tries to spawn a zombie on there, not only do you not get the zombie, but you don't get the two or three other ones that would have spawned off to either side. By doing this, when a zombie, or in our case in Season 3, a skeleton, spawns on top of the spawner, they trigger that tripwire that you can barely see running across, which powers this trapdoor, opening it up, causing the water to come down, get stopped by the fence gates, and push the whatever forward off of the spawner. The fence gates keep the water from going all over the place and ruining anything. And because they're gates, mobs can pass through them. So uh, whether the mob path finds off or gets pushed off doesn't matter, just so long as they get off. And that pushes them off there, increasing the spawn rate. I've got to find the video where I got this design so I can give it the appropriate credit in the world as well. I think I need to go back and look at when I published the video for building this. And I think I put it in the video description instead of on a sign out here. Uh, so this is what's going on in our skeleton spawner, except I had to do this part of the floor just a little different because for whatever reason, the corners there weren't flowing correctly for me and I could not figure out what was up with that. The other thing that makes this design unique is that little that little fence gate right there. Or sorry, fence post wall, that wall section. So the mobs come down the water, down the water, and that that little bit of wall pushes them up into the bubble column. And because there's that empty come on. Uh, because there's that empty space on the backside there, that means that the water source above the bubble column is both pulling them that direction as well as bubbling them up. So they go over the wall and get pushed into a water stream that is simultaneously pulling them up and forward more. And that keeps, that keeps the critters from getting stuck waiting for the bubble column. So you don't have to wait for something else to come off the spawner and push them up. Uh, I hope that made sense. It should make sense to at least one of us. <laughs> and then the rest of that is the same. I, I ended up putting the slabs across the top because I forgot that we now have tinted glass and a tinted glass roof would work just as well. So eventually I might go back and, and fix that. But um, that, that'll be for another day. It works. And what I need to do is I need to go back because I, I want to go visit our... Our... Um, smelting system that we had it was based off a of video that waddles did around around the time the season zero world was going on um <laughs> my temple project in the heads of all the unwanted vi uh, visitors <laughs> uh i can already see uh we, we've come a little ways since season zero uh, the one the one thing that I I want to do is another I, I want to try another rail system at some point all right almost there I know spectator mode moves torturously slow I also like that now in 1.18, instead of using leaves to cover that light, uh, we can use moss carpets, and it actually matches in with the grass, so you can make little mossy patches in the lawn, and it won't look out of place. Okay. So, no, we only have the 8 for an eye. Okay. 
So yeah, this was the basic idea. And we had that, okay, so we had that on off switch. It was, it was the season one farm that was missing, uh, that, that I'd already torn down for the other stuff. Okay. Well, shoot. This isn't the reference you wanted. I wanted. <laughs> I'm sorry, the reference you're looking for is in another castle. <clears throat> I couldn't help that. Okay. So that's not going to help me either. All right, let's go back to the redstone testing world then. Because uh, that's not going to get me what I want. I remember doing a, a system that used a sticky piston, a gate, and a redstone block. Uh, to, to manage the loading and unloading. To, to get the, the cart to stop where we wanted it. And now now I find myself wondering how... How... How sway? Uh, no. How did I manage to do that? Uh... I thought it was something... like that no no it couldn't have been because then the cart would get stuck on come on go cart yeah because otherwise the cart gets stuck up there. Ah, uh, hmm. So that wasn't it. You know what? We'll we'll come back to this one later. I have so many levers in my inventory by the time this is done. Alright. So some shenanigans are gonna happen there, which is what ends up turning that on. The question the next question then. So I've got the output all sorted. Yay for one project. Obviously, that, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't be just that simple and straightforward. I'm going to have to, uh, I need to make sure that the input and output. Not my day. Maybe I'll just go mining. Uh, I need to make sure that the input and output chest size is the same. So, wherever the input goes... Things are going to load or unload over there. You know, maybe I'll just... Uh... Do that for the moment. Uh, because... I think I want the input and the output at the same spot anyway. Fine, 
fine, fine. Right. Don't worry, words and thoughts will be happening. I'll let you know. Sooner or later. So I've got my input and my output. Somehow I want to make sure that that stops until a certain point and then goes at a certain point. Um, maybe what I can do for that is go grab a comparator. That's what I was afraid of. You can't grab a signal directly from the hopper minecart. So, we'll grab the signal from there. So, I want to make sure that once items start going in at a certain point, it lets that it lets that fill up to a certain point and then go about its way. On this and other conundrums, we'll we'll all right. We'll we'll do the time honored tradition of bouncing back and forth between problems. So, input shenanigans are going to happen there. Output shenanigans are the easiest part of this puzzle. Then the next thing is how much carpet do how much carpet is this thing going to take? And do I want to try to do some sort of hopper minecarty thing? that um that, that that sends it on its way or do i want to do the water streams like i did last go round i also find that i'm probably going to want to just do that So that I don't have to worry about accidentally washing away redstone. Last time I had the carpet duplicator do a weird little S because I need the carpet to float on the edge. And then I need, I need some disposal for the overflow. Um, look, some disposal for the overflow. Oh, there we go. I need to align it to that edge, which means I need to run this a little bit further around. And I think what I might end up doing is I'll come out this way. Need a chest and some more rails. because we'll push it up against the chest and the rails are just a little bit further back. So and then we'll go there. Hmm. 
Let's get some glass. Because that's as good as anything else. It's going to get me most of the way there. Although that should have enough, uh, that should have enough momentum that I don't need to worry too much about. Hmm. So the idea is the carpet is going to get pushed into that water stream somehow. Get pushed up against the edge of that chest. And because that chest is one pixel past the edge of the block, the carpet entities are going to ride that line between the ice and that ice, which also means when they get to these hoppers, they're going to ride the edge of that copper. So they'll be accelerated by the ice and they'll run over over there. And they'll get picked up by the hoppers, which means it's going to get picked up by this guy first, then this guy, then this guy, so on and so forth on down the line. Which may or may not be a good thing. Uh, I need an observer. A sticky piston, some slime blocks, and, oh, I don't know, carpet? I think, if I remember right, I actually had it. So that was going that way. The, this is one of a number of designs that I saw. And we'll see how well that works. I guess I... No, I shouldn't need to worry about that. I'm going to need carpet there. I'm going to need a slime block there. A slime block... Nope, not there, but there. And I need... One of these guys... doesn't appear in the inventory. All right. Let's get us a crafting table. Gold. Irony. So love that we have the redstone rotation wrench because it lets us do stuff like this. Okay. All right. Um. Maybe I don't. 
don't want that a waterlogged block. No, no, I don't. I need that to be a solid block. Because I need to be able to power and unpower that block. And then I guess we'll get the water going there like that then. I mean, I guess technically it doesn't hurt if the water runs past that, but I had that turned off for some reason. And since I can't remember what it was, we'll go with I'm sure it was a good idea. All right, that technically leaves the carpet duplicator off. That lets it run. One of the questions I don't have a good answer for is how many carpet duplicators does it take to get to the bottom of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop? No, uh, to, f <laughs> to run uh, eight furnaces. So, like, there's two duplicators going right there. I'm going to let this run while I ponder things, although for some reason that's not... No. Why? We should not be having carpet making its way all the way over there. Bother. Hmm. What are all these guys doing over there? All right. So that didn't work out. Uh oh. Honey blocks work? I think honey blocks would work. If I remember right, they have the same property of being one block shy of the edge. Because the other thing I could do is I could just put a bunch of chests down. That would also work, but let's try this first. Alright, so far so good. Let's, uh... Let's fill that guy up. So we start getting stuff No, they're just getting stuck on the honey. <sighs> That's all they're doing is getting stuck on the honey. Okay. Uh, let's get that out of the inventory. Let's get that out of the inventory. Let's get that out of the inventory. Before this becomes too big a mess. Alright, not a honey block then. Well, I hate doing it, but... Or was that the solution? Because uh, I know the iron bars worked out okay before. Um, I just don't know why they're not working out now. And now I'm wondering if it was one of those I just needed a couple more chests to keep it on its way. Let's try this. All right, so that one should be full. That second one should start picking them up. No. They're getting stuck on that corner. Why are they getting stuck on that corner? It 
tasks me. Alright. We're gonna have to fill that up anyway, so I might as well. Then, uh... Is it just chests all the way down? I mean, that's not the end of the world. I'm just trying to remember why... Why that mattered. Okay, so no, it's not getting stuck because of... the chests. Is it a water flow thing? Is that what I'm missing? Should, should I have just had, uh... Let's go back to the honey blocks. see if we can just uh, what happens if we just get the water to keep pushing around so it should get aligned by this one and uh, go from there question mark I'm trying to remember what I did differently all right that seems to be going better that also means that I might not actually need a chest at all there, and I just need a bunch of honey blocks. Uh, let's turn this off for a moment. Because that would be kind of nice. Uh, I hate having random storage floating around if uh, that's all I really need. Alright, so that's full... That's getting full. Then we start filling up the third. Alright, and we're occasionally getting stuff in the fourth and fifth. So here is the real question. Let's, uh, let's fill all this up with carpet real quick. That's full, that's full, that's full. There we go there. So all of these are now full. Everything, everything that's running out should continue on its way. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's fill this up with iron. Alright. And for ease, we'll just go ahead and go... Bam! Oh! <sighs> uh, 
Of course, of course. Where's my, where's my, there we go. Of course, that's not gonna, yeah. Oh, 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 duh. Stupid, 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 stupid. These are smokers. I can't fill them with iron. That's, that was dumb. That was dumb. more time with feeling because I have smokers of course I know that what I really need to do is put in some kelp or something because who who would be silly enough to forget that not me That's the wrong one. No wonder why that wasn't working. Okay. Um. No, 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 no. Um. You know, I'm not even gonna bother with. Let's just fill this chest up here, because my main question is, if I turn this loose. And set this to going. Will two carpet be able to keep up with all the kelp as it gets distributed? And obviously that's churning in. And do we need more? Of it? Yeah, of course we need more. <laughs> I was about to ask a silly question like, do we really need more than, uh, more than eight furnaces in the array? No, of course we need more than eight furnaces in the array. And where, where are you guys coming from? Ow. Ow. Uh, terracotta. Let's grab some gray glazed terracotta for no good reason. Because that should be there. a little more room up top in case I need to expand this out. Alright, so far that's staying full. But what about these guys? Like, that's down almost a stack and it doesn't look like it's getting replenished fast enough. That one's going good. That one's staying good. That three... Four. Okay, so two. Oh, no, 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 stop picking them up by accident. You're ruining the experiment. Uh, so two carpet on the duplicator only carries about four furnaces worth of fuel. So let's add... Let's add a third. Of course, now it's running behind because, well... No, stop, 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 stop picking them up.
All right. Two. Yes, it is a duplicator. I'm trying to make sure that uh, I can get a system that works fast enough. Okay. So we got three carpets on the duplicator. Uh, the one closest is obviously staying up. The second one is staying up. The third one is staying up. The fourth one is staying up. The fifth one is falling behind. No, that's not fifth. Yeah, that is fifth. One, two, three, four, five. Five is not replenishing as fast as it's burning. Same for six, seven, and eight. All right. Uh, what if we add a fourth? Like, is this two carpet for every four fern I? I'm trying to do some planning so I can figure out how much space I need for a furnace array. So I can go, Ray asked, where in the castle can we fit this? Or under the castle, because what I might also do is put this input chest up above somewhere. And that, an elevator back up. Um, I have very mixed feelings about duplicators. Uh, I am not... I, I don't like certain, certain ones. And I am ambivalent about others. Uh, that one shouldn't be falling behind. Oh, uh, because, of course, it was off while it was running. That's staying up. That's staying up. This guy... Should now be staying up. That one's... Yeah, planning. I know. It's weird. Look, what is this planning? What happened to cause such a thing? <laughs> All right. Uh Three, four. Did I not set that one back up? See, this is what I was afraid of. I've now got four duplicators running, although I'm starting to wonder if I'm really getting as much carpet off of this thing as I think I am. I was under the impression that the more carpet you stacked up there like that, the more duplication would happen. But so far, even though I've stacked that up four high, I'm not getting enough carpet to keep more than four furnaces powered. The, the rest of them are, are dying quickly. So I need... I need to get more carpet. Or, well, I mean, I guess I could say, see if everybody's alright with just running an array of four furnaces, but, I mean, who wants that? I mean, 
mean, everybody knows that four furnaces just aren't enough. You need more furni. And there's always the possibility that I've done this wrong. Because uh, I know that there's another design out there for the duplicator that uses a uh, dried coral fan. And I wonder if that's the difference. Like, just because I stack two more up on there, I'm not getting more than just what the initial two. Because I really wanted to get... I wanted to get eight smokers, eight blast furnace, and 16 <laughs> regular furnaces. But this is, this is not, this is not working out at all. And, and I is a little confused. All right, let's turn that off for a moment. Oh yeah, that, that definitely. All right, I need to fa- Oh, and that didn't stop over the, under the, the. Okay, no, it is at least filling up. I guess it's because the hitbox is technically over into that block. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, so I think what I need to do is swap that out for a regular rail because I want that to stop there. Let's slow which down? Slow the carpet down or slow the... I need more words than it. It is not enough. <laughs> I can't slow down the cooking if that's what you're talking about. I can't slow down the fuel consumption. That's why I'm trying to make sure that I can get enough fuel moving into the system. Um, I know I've seen a couple of videos out there where somebody's already done all the work, but I was really hoping to try to figure this one out myself. Uh, that that <laughs> that may not be possible. Um, so. Stacking it taller hasn't helped. Let's let's do this. Let's kill that water for just a moment. And let's start turning this around. Cause I'm wondering if that is the ultimate problem. Yeah. Let's do like so. Uh, I want like that. I need. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. No, I I can't quite slow the machine down itself, the like the tick speed, because I'm not that smart. Um, two, three, four. Get the water going. And oh, maybe, maybe I am going to have to go back to a waterlogged block there. So that I can have the observer, which now needs to go that way. Mm 
Oh. Oh. Duh. I can't believe that was... Maybe, maybe I'm too tired to do this. Maybe, maybe I need to just, you know... Sit and have a nice think and, uh... <laughs> Let's try this again, shall we? Alright. I think I'm getting more out of each of those, though. That's progress. Is not firing like it should, though. Do do I need to get this guy going like that? I mean, that does technically work. Holy mother of carpet! Well, that seems to be part of it right there. Giving me enough. Let's make sure nothing's falling out there. That's full. That's full. That's full. That's now full. That's now full. That uh, okay. All right. I'll have to uh, delete all that in a minute. Let's um. Fill this guy up and get another round going. So I think that did it right there. Because now, now I think I'm getting what I thought I was going to get the last time with all the carpet. Because that definitely looks like I'm getting more out of that. Although a lot of the carpet is ending up on top of my waterlogged stair there. And I think that's what I need to do. Yeah, that's definitely better. Cluttered inventory, cluttered mind. Alright, that's staying full, that's staying full, that's staying full. As is that, and that, and... Oh! Okay! So maybe that was it. Maybe I was never getting any more than one carpet duplicated using the other method. And therefore, I was never... I was Like, one carpet is going to keep four furnaces going, and that's about it. Because this, de <laughs> this is definitely producing way more carpet than is needed. Uh, which is a good problem to have. Don't, please don't hear what I'm not saying. Like that, that solves, that solves the main root problem. I, I've got, so if this is my model for the eight 
the the two arrays of eight, the blast furnace and the smoker. There we go. That gives me more than enough to to keep this thing going. Now I'm kind of curious. How far back can I cut this and keep? Like, if I take one carpet out, is that enough to keep things going? I mean, obviously it's got to fill itself back up because it's been burning while it was off. But, uh, honestly, as a... <laughs> okay. So... Yeah. Oh, man. Have I been doing it that wrong all this time? Probably. Alright, so that, that takes it down to two. I guess I need some dead coral fans. Alright, let's see if it'll catch back up real quick. Alright, we're starting to get that one. Now we're... Alright, that's keeping back up. That's almost back up. That is now filling up faster than it's uh, being consumed. Yep. Okay. Alright. So that's good. That means that two... Two carpets will... De or, yeah. A uh, two carpet duplicator will definitely keep eight furnaces going. Which is phenomenal. Now comes the fun question. How do I want to make sure that this turns on and off? Because I don't want you to have to hit uh, uh, an on-off, and I need to make sure that this loader keeps going. Although, I guess, now that I think about it... Um... <laughs> All right. I can't, uh, I think what I all I really need to do is just go. Let's grab... A, a complete thought is coming. <laughs> Loading. Please wait. Because I guess what I want to do is I just want to make sure that as long as there's stuff in here... It will... It'll keep that on. So if I come in here and fill up a row of eight, that's not going to go until it starts backing up. Which actually might be okay. Because that means that this is going to keep going until that fills up. Oh, never mind. That's not going to work. That's not going to work because if you if you're just tossing like two stacks of stuff, that will never be full enough to move. All right, let's turn that off. I can do without that noise. Maybe I will bury this in the ground just to bury that noise. All right, so I'm gonna need honey blocks. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna need hoppers and furni. It doesn't have to be a copper slab. I'm gonna need coral fans, and I'm gonna need some terracotta, some glazed terracotta. Uh, 
I still need to get the loading stuff worked out. Unloading's not going to be a problem because I, I can definitely make sure that uh, all that ends up uh, sorry, it was bothering me. Instead of going into a chest, I can get that into an elevator to load up. Uh, as a matter of fact, all right. Output is solved. Fuel is solved. Input is the next problem. And then I can try to double this and figure out how to make it work for, uh, for 16. For 16 for an eye. And here I was thinking I was going to have time to, uh, time to work on a triple piston extender too. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, that's never going to be enough. All right. Cause I guess the thing is, is what I, what I want to happen is as soon as eight items are in there, Uh, as soon as eight items are in there, I want it to go ahead and roll. And unfortunately, you can't pull a signal out of out of a a hopper uh, a minecart with chest. That's filling up. It's almost full. I have no signal coming from that, so I need a I need a proxy. Or just a timer? How do other people do this? Or is that what I need to work on next and just uh just figure out how how, how other people do this? Because that, that seems to be the conundrum here. Right, I don't need those at the moment. Oh, I'll put that away for the moment. Uh, hmm. Output fuel. So I want this to run. As soon as it has 16 items, of course, I guess the problem with that is if we're running less than 16 items, it's not going to run. Although if you're going down to the, the smelter array for more than 16 items, we, we got other, other issues. Or do I just leave the uh, the minecart there for you to fill? And as soon as you fill it, you, you hit the button and it keeps going. Um, that is an interesting question. That that is that is an interesting sound. still hear the noise on the carpet and you still can't jump even with the carpet I forgot about that okay all right all right all right, all right. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I know I sound like one of the angry ones 
So what proxy can I use? And how do I... Because I, as soon as I power that block, it'll get moving. So I need to power that block whenever the proxy signal goes. Or... Do I... What do I do? Um... I have a sign there. <laughs> I knew I was going to regret that eventually. Alright, let's try this. Okay, then. Or do I turn that around the other way? Or is it... Oh, uh, or is it because that only puts out a power of one? So that's never going to give the signal that I, th I really want it to have. Yeah, because that's, that's only going to have a power signal of one. Which means it's never going to have what I want it to have. Because uh, the idea, I thought, was trigger this, get a little burn down clock going, and then when the burn down clock hits, power that block that I broke, that I shouldn't have broke. Uh, unless we build the clock a little differently. Uh, oh, I hate doing it like this. With a deep and abiding passion, but... Let's try it like so. Um, That's almost enough. Although that only gave me the the two. Okay. But that's progress. So that means when items go through. not working the way I thought it would. That did nothing. Why did that did nothing?
Okay. Okay. Um, an idea has struck. You should be very worried. So we'll get... Nope. To the side. To the side. And then... Well... Other way. Get a redstone block. Because if I remember correctly, if I do it like that, that should... <laughs> oh. There we go. Uh, well, that ain't gonna work. Because the idea was, I want, as soon as items start flowing through, it'll push that out there, which will keep that moving. And as long as there's items in there, oh, but it's only picking up two items at a go. Huh. All right. Well, that's that. That is part of the equation then. So if I've got an observer watching that, and I, actually, I don't even think it has to observe that so much as could probably go. Like that. Nope. One further. And just watch. So that packed that down just a little bit, which might be what I need, or it might not. Well, that covers all the options now, doesn't it? Fuel is handled. I have something that will turn the cart on when there are items and turn it off when there are no items. Now I just need it to grab more than two items at a go. So let the uh, the rest of that cook off too. Because that is the other thing too. I want to make sure that when the system turns on, that turns on. And when the system turns off, that turns off. That actually wouldn't be that hard anyway, because what I could do is... Where my great will go? Over 
with my gray hair, apparently. Uh, it wouldn't be hard to do something like that. Oh, no. Except there's still items to smelt. Although if that's topped off, it might not matter. Um, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Eh, that might be enough. Oh, wait, no. I want that, uh, I want that inverted. Okay. So, I want... And then a block. And then a torch. That was weird. So as long as this has power, which it's going to do, as long as items are coming through the funnel, it's going to keep producing... keep producing wool. Or keep producing carpet. There's got to be a way to tighten this up, too. That that is a smidge bit ugly, but I can I can deal with that in a little bit. I actually I probably can shorten that up, just not right this minute. Uh, I'll I'll <laughs> I'll start optimizing as soon as uh as soon as I I've got something working the way that I want it to. Fuel works. Output will naturally work. Um, although. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Let me do that for the moment. Let everything finish cooking. Clear out the inventory real quick. Let's get all all the kelp cleared out. I'm gonna let that run for a minute while it fills everything else back up, and then I'm gonna stop and have a think about things. Because again, the the main idea is I want this set up so when items enter the system, this turns on, and then when items are done entering the system, it turns off. Well, I wonder that I could, I could set up a hopper clock and have, uh, 
redstone block, two sticky pistons, redstone dust. Then to figure out how and where I want to build it. All right, so much for my uh, project board. I knew I shouldn't have built so close to the end. All right, let's get us a little platform until we figure out just how we want to do things here. Uh, if I set that like that, and that like that, and that like that, I'm not going to be able to put anything there. All right, so I can do that. And that way I can have my redstone blocks like that. That way, that way. Hmm. Then was it... It's been a while. How does one do a hopper clock again? Need comparators, two hoppers, and a random set of items. Because that comparator is going to go that way, that comparator is going to go that way. Okay. Okay. And actually, technically, probably build it where that was underneath instead of off to the side, but that's, uh, let's go, I got that backwards, I want that there, and that there, But how many items would fall in there? And... I want that to lock while this is on. Okay. This is getting there. Uh, <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Alright. So I get it set up that the hopper clock turns on once the first item goes. Maybe maybe I need to maybe I need to just look up the, the rates so I can math it out how many how many items well no, because once that goes Matter of fact, I could probably drop that in half, too. Yeah, because that... Okay. Alright. Um, Server.
to the wrong part. Part of the idea is that I want reversed. course that's going to uh, keep dropping in. I don't know why that bothered me, but it did. Alright. Let's get this guy back here. So far, this seems to be working out okay. Um... Put in 16. No, it's going to say... <laughs> okay. That was almost enough to work. Except we ended up with 12 in there for some reason. if I double that. Because I lose the two the second it starts. That's better. All right. Uh, I increase the timer here. I just want to make sure that if I throw 16 in here, nah, still not enough. Uh, let's put a little more delay in there. Isn't that the answer to so many problems? Just put more delay in there.
Then I'll get me my first four. This is, uh, I do know that I want to make sure, all right, let's, uh, while well, I'm thinking about things on that side, let's grab some wool here. Can't put redstone on a uh, on a on a on a honey block. That's a shame. Okay. Hello, beach duck. Been wondering where you were. It's been a while. I am in a redstone testing world trying to figure out how to make a moderately complex machine work the way that I want. I've got a carpet duplicator churning out carpet for fuel. Output was always the easiest part of this. Uh, I need to rearrange this part, though. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going on right about now. Um, maybe I got this wrong. Maybe I got this backwards, and I need to... And I need to start off this count. Hmm. So what's happening is is if I if I get some items in there to cook, that's turning on. It's turning on the fuel, but I want the fuel to stay on as long as the system is running. And that's not quite the way it works out. Also, instead of cooking all 16, it ends up leaving me with six items left in that chest. So it's not, it's not doing a full, full cook job like it should. And that's that's where I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble figuring out how to how to turn this, set this up so that way it, it does the uh, it does what I'm expecting it to do. Uh, while I'm trying to figure that one out, though, what I can be doing. is we'll do that although that is off so the system is off because there's nothing in here so that means that the fuel should be off ah.
actually. I should probably just do that instead. That uh, makes it a little more clear what's going on. So this means that if I drop 16 items in there, there is that little bit of delay, but more importantly, the power stays on for the fuel until the system turns off. I think I want to go ahead and give that a little bit of delay too, just so that way it runs a smidge longer than when the system turns off. And I still end up with those six, those six left over. Do I need to, do I need to increase the timer on this? I mean, other than... Other than the fact that there's six items just chilling, waiting to be cooked, does, uh, does it matter? That's not quite... Yes, no, it matters. It matters. Who am I kidding? Of course it matters. Um... Or do I find a way to throw a little more delay in here? All right. Uh, I, I've gotten two thirds of the way through my problem. Uh, I know that when items start moving through this hopper, that's going to turn the system on, which will start the fuel going. And then when items stop flowing through the hopper, that will turn the system on off which will get them which will turn it back off uh or or do i just disconnect it and have a hopper uh, a clock going so that way it counts out 16 bits rolls and comes back and it just does that regardless of whether items are in there or not I'll have to think on that, but uh, I am I am clearly tired, and it is definitely definitely time to uh, to. Sorry, it it was kind of bothering me that there was that little spot with the fire right there. So let's uh, you know let's just there we go. Safety copper. <laughs> I mean. Look, th this is two thirds of the way working, and that that's actually not bad for a two hour two hour session there. Um, yeah, most uh, most of these guys are full and ready, so it's ready for the next cook job. That that's that's good. I now know that I only need to worry about two of those and. And I definitely need to do the coral fan. That was the missing part. Uh, even though I had two carpet before, I wasn't get it. I wasn't duplicating two to go. Uh, that was that. That was the missing ingredient there. So I've got my little machine for carpet duplication. I've got my fuel, my output. I just got to get the timing on this input thing worked out. So I'm probably going to work on this more this weekend. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to thank you for joining along in this brain. Uh, yeah, it, it's okay. You, you didn't miss too much other than me staring, staring blankly at the screen going, uh, wait a second. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 It, oh, wait. Um, mm, and, and so a lot of that, I, I will definitely have a more full fledged tour like deal, uh, as soon as this machine is working the way it's supposed to go, and, and I'll probably, I want to be able to build this on Tuesdays 
live stream. Um, that that is my goal is to build this on Tuesday's live stream, or at least start gathering the resources for building it. But uh, that that input's going to get to me, and then I got to figure out how to duplicate this for an eighteen furnace or, or a 16 furnace array instead of an 8 furnace array or maybe uh, maybe I'll talk it over with uh, Medic Arcadius and Rayest and see if an 8 furnace array is going to be enough and we'll just do 3 of these one for each type of furnace alright anyway let's uh, let's see is Beast Lord still on? yeah Beast Lord is still on so let's go give him a raid stick around for that and uh, and I will see you guys Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Still not sure what's going to happen with the Friday slot, other than it depends on what I feel like at the moment. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Stay for the raid!